and welcome to Messy Church Online. My name is Reverend Laura and it's great that you're here today. Now in January the church celebrates a festival called Epiphany. Epiphany is a festival that celebrates the arrival of the wise men who came to see the baby Jesus. Now you might think that's part of the Christmas story but from what we read in the Bible, the wise men might have arrived up to two years after Jesus was born. We have got lots of star-themed crafts and activities for you to do at home to join in this story as we celebrate the arrival of the wise men. This is Messy Church, Star of Wonder. The wise men in the Christmas story were stargazers. They knew lots about the stars and studied the night sky. Well, here you can make your own picture of the night sky. For this activity, you'll need some black paper or card, some paints in various colours. You can use a paintbrush, some glitter or glitter glue, and then star stickers or star ornaments, whatever you have in your house. This is an opportunity for you to be creative. When you look up at the night sky, there are all sorts of colours, shapes, swirls, stars, and constellations. I'm going to create a sort of cloudy galaxy effect. Next I'm going to add some glitter glue and as the light shines on it every little bit of glitter will look like stars or clusters of stars. You could paint individual faraway stars with little dots of paint or glue. And you can sprinkle biodegradable glitter to make individual stars as well. Finally, I'm going to use some star stickers to add really big star shapes onto my picture of the night sky. I wonder what you can see when you look up at the night sky. And I wonder what your picture will look like. Have a look at some of these night sky pictures that we made at our in-person messy churches. I wonder what questions you have about space. I wonder whether you would travel into space if you could. I wonder if you like throwing and catching games. This game is a version of Hot Potato. We're going to create a ball and pretend it's a burning hot star. We're going to make our ball out of silver foil, so that's what you need for this activity. Tear a section of silver foil and you can either use it to cover a ball that you already have or scrunch it like I'm doing into a ball shape. Now you need to throw the ball as fast as you can to somebody else and they have to throw it back, otherwise it'll burn you. If you're playing on your own, you could see how many times you could catch the ball without dropping it. Don't hold on too long to the burning hot star. Stars in the night sky are beautiful and often appear to be different colours. Here you can make a colourful star decoration. You'll need a piece of old cardboard and a pencil, some scissors, some wool in one or different colours and a pipe cleaner. First, take your pencil and draw a star shape, nice and big, on your piece of card. Use your scissors to cut it out so it looks like this. Draw a small line at the bottom of your star and use the scissors to make a little slit so that you can tuck the end of your wool into it. Now tie a knot there and that will secure your wool. Now it's time to start wrapping your wool all the way around your star. As you go, if you want to change the colour of your wool, then just cut it and tie a new colour on. When you've finished wrapping the wool around your star, tuck the end in and tie another knot so that it's secure. Now, if you want to hang your star, we're going to twist the pipe cleaner around the top of your star to make a hook. Now our star is ready to hang on the wall. I wonder who you might give your star to or where you might hang it. Have a look at these stars that we made at our in-person messy churches. I wonder how your star will remind you of the wise men finding the baby Jesus, the story of Epiphany. 
lots of people wish upon a star when they see one. Well, here we are going to pray upon a star. You'll need some printed stars, or you can draw your own on a piece of paper, some scissors, and either ink pads or washable felt tip pens. First, cut yourself out some stars from paper so that they look like this. Now you can either colour on your fingers using washable ink pens or you can use ink pads to put your finger into the ink and make some fingerprints on the star. The thing about fingerprints is that everybody's are totally unique. Now each time you print your finger you can say a prayer. You might pray for people who are travelling a long way, people who are looking for something, people who want to understand and learn more about the world, people who rule and govern countries, people who want to find out more about Jesus. When you've done printing with your fingers, you can use a pencil and write down next to your fingerprints what you are praying for, so you remember. You'll create a set of fingerprint prayers as unique as you are. The Bible says that God knows every single star by its name, even though there are millions and millions of them. And God knows each of us by name as well. Have you ever been out watching the stars at night? The wise men who came to see Jesus were stargazers, so here you can make your own little gingerbread stargazers. For this activity you'll need gingerbread men or biscuits you've made yourself and some icing. Here's my little gingerbread stargazer. I'm going to use the icing and squeeze it out of the tube to give him some lovely clothes to go out stargazing in. decorate your stargazers however you like using whatever you have in your house. Have a look at some of the gingerbread stargazers we decorated at our in-person messy churches. I wonder what questions you have when you look up at the stars. I wonder whether you would have gone with the three wise men to find the baby Jesus. I hope you enjoyed all those crafts and activities. Now, it's time for our celebration service. So although the Epiphany story is about the three wise men following the star to find the baby Jesus, people around the world celebrate Epiphany in lots of different ways. In Guatemala, people celebrate with processions, music and dancing. In Spain, children leave their shoes outside at Epiphany so the three wise men can give them gifts. In Peru, children imagine they are part of the story and leave water and grass outside for the three wise men's camels. There are lots of stories and traditions about Epiphany and we don't find them all in the Bible, but we can learn from them. Here's an Epiphany story from Russia that helps me to think about what this festival means. This is the story of Babushka. The legend of Babushka. Babushka lived in a little village. She was known for keeping her house lovely and clean. One day she had some strange visitors, three kings. They had seen a new star and they were on their way to worship the new king who had been born. They had brought special presents for him, but they were tired and asked if they could stay the night in Babushka's cottage. Babushka gladly made them welcome. The three kings stayed with Babushka all that day. But as evening fell, they set off again to follow the star and find the new king. Come with us, Babushka, they said. Come with us to see the new king. But Babushka was tired. She had not eaten her supper and the night air was cold to her old bones. I am too old to come with you tonight, she said. I'll go in the morning. So the king set off, leaving Babushka behind. day Babushka felt better and ready to go and travel to see the newborn king. She packed a basket full of presents for the baby and set off in the direction the three kings had gone. In every town and village she passed through she asked, did three kings come this way? Yes, said the people, they went on. 
and Babushka followed, following in the steps of the three kings. Eventually, she came to a little village called Bethlehem. Have three kings been this way? she asked. Yes, said the villagers. They went to see the baby, the one in that stable. Babushka headed for the stable. At last, her long journey was coming to an end. But when Babushka got to the stable, it was empty. She searched everywhere in the village, but couldn't find the baby Jesus. Babushka wept. She was too late to see Jesus. And ever since, so the story goes, Babushka wanders the world looking for the Christ child. When she comes to a home of good children, she leaves three gifts, one for them to marvel at, one for them to enjoy, and one for the baby Jesus. Like the wise men, many people still seek Jesus today and seek to follow him. We don't actually have to leave our homes and follow a star of wonder, but we can be followers of Jesus too, just like the wise men. And just like Babushka, we can serve Jesus by helping and giving to the people around us. Let's have our star prayers. For our messy prayers today, you just need your own hand. Look at your hand and spread your fingers out wide. We're going to use our fingers to help us say our prayers. Our thumb is the closest to us. So say a prayer for the people who are closest to you, your family, your friends, those who care for you. This finger is a pointy finger. It shows us what to do. So say a prayer for the people who teach us and the people we learn from. Perhaps they're your teachers at school. Perhaps they're your parents or other leaders. This middle finger is your tallest finger. It is in charge. So say a prayer for the people who are in charge of our country for our government, for the police, for all those who lead and those who guide us. Now this finger, your ring finger, is your weakest finger. Feel how hard it is to lift this finger up. So we pray for those who are sick or in any kind of need. You might know somebody who's poorly, somebody having a difficult time at the moment. Finally, your little finger represents yourself. Say a prayer for yourself, for the things you hope for, for the things you worry about, for the things you say thank you to God for. Make a star shape with your fingers. Lord Jesus, we are in awe when we look up at the stars in the night sky. Help us like the wise men to seek you following the star of wonder and like Babushka to serve you by caring for all in need. Amen. We always finish Messy Church with the Messy Grace. If you've done this before, you know what to do. First, you hold out your hands as if you're getting an amazing present. Then you put your hands on your heart as if you're saying, I love you. Then you open out your arms wide and bring them up and finish with an Amen. Let's do it together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thanks so much for joining Messy Church online today. I hope you've had fun. Our next in-person Messy Church will be at St Peter's Church on Birch and Coppice on Sunday the 12th of February at 3 o'clock. And we'll be back here on the Facebook page and Kids YouTube channel two weeks after that on the 26th of February. Thanks for joining us. Take care and keep following that star. Bye.